on today's episode. Hey kids and faith, we are in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and today we are going to be interviewing some kids. Hey kids and faith, I'm with. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, kids and faith, we are here with Jaden. Jaden, what has been your favorite part about this week? Uh, my favorite part was going to the Buffalo Bills game with y'all. What has been your favorite part about the preacher's preaching? Uh, my favorite part was how Pastor Joel Siegel just was flowing, flowing the word. We are here with Natalie. Um, where are you from? California. Um, what has been your favorite part about the services? Definitely when Pastor Nancy prays for people at the end of the services. We are here with Ellie, Andrew, Josh. What has been your favorite part about the services? The Reverend Joe services. Yesterday night. I like going out for chicken wings with the Franks. We're at Brother Joel Siegel's book table and we are with Jesse. Jesse, what's your favorite book? I really like Phil. Why do you like Phil? Um, it just really goes along with what's been ministered this week um, about living a full life and how we can be more effective in prayer if we are full. I have one more question. What has been your favorite part about the preaching? Yeah, um, I really enjoyed seeing each minister step into their office and just seeing how the Spirit uses them. We are here with... Amen. Amen. Where are you from? I'm from Paducah, Kentucky. What has been your favorite part about the services? Um, the refreshing and um, the morning services has been really good too. We are here with... Ryan. Where, where are you from, Ryan? Arizona. What has been your favorite part about the services? Worship. We are at the bookstore with... Lexi. Hi! Lexi is one of my Bible School students. And Lexi, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is Answer It. Um, Lexi, why is Answer It your favorite book? Answer It is my favorite book because when the enemy brings all kinds of lies into you, you can say, no, that's not true. This is what the word says. We're here with... Joel. Joel, where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Joe, what have you learned out of the services? From tonight, I learned uh, from Pastor Craig that we have authority and we have to stand on our faith. And we gotta use our words and we gotta stand on our faith on our own. We can't let expect God to do everything for us. We have to do our part. Thank you, the friends. We are here with one of our staff members. Andrew Kleinschreiber. And what is your favorite part of the services? And what is so important to have like sound system and stuff? Well, in the sound department, um, one of the greatest things is really moving the minister into the to the highest flow of their office. Um, we do a couple of things here. There's really three main parts. So um, it's making it so the minister can hear. It's making it so that the people can hear. Um, that way they don't miss anything that's going through the service and the spirit can flow because they can receive it and enter in. Um, as well as the live stream. The live stream is uh, really important because you know, we may have uh, a certain group of people here, but we're kind of limited inside of this building to what the walls can hold. But on live stream, uh, people can watch this for years to come. And so that'll be there. Uh, people can receive from that. The Spirit of God can still reach them at a later date, just like they were sitting here in the service, as long as it's made right so they can hear it. So uh, we do our best to, you know, strive for excellence and, and make it right where everyone can hear all the instruments, all the parts singing, um, and, you know, ultimately the flow of the service to kind of translate over for everyone to be able to enter in. And what is your favorite part of serving in the local church? Um, my favorite part of serving in the local church is really just doing my part, um, being in the plan of God. I mean, you know, for this season, the plan of God's for me to be here and to be running sound and to be, you know, making that happen. So there's nothing better than being in the plan of God. Um, but every, every joint supplies, you know, we still, even though we're back here and nobody really sees us, everyone hears what we're, we're doing, but nobody really sees us much. But at the same point, you know, we can still receive the same reward as, as the ministers, you know, if we're faithful to our uh, post and faithful to our positions. And, you know, every, every position has a, a vital role in the service. We're here with? Favor. Favor, um, where are you from? I'm from Canada. 
favorite, what has been your favorite part about this meeting? Well, I guess it was when the Reverend was able to like explain um, how to be full of the Spirit, that you have to be full of both the Word and um, prayer, which was really helpful. I am at Bella Josico's book table with Batia. And what has your favorite book been? What's your favorite book? My favorite book by Reverend Joel is What Happened to Honor. And what does it talk about in that book? It talks about honor and how we need to just be more honorable in our everyday lives and especially toward the church. We are here with Anthony. And what has been your favorite part of the services? My favorite part of the services has to be listening to all the different ministers speak and learning what each one has to say. And I really feel that it's impacted my life and my family's lives as we're talking about it every night doing devotions. That's good. Yeah, yeah. To the next one. Take it to faith, we are here with one of our congregation members. Sam. And why is it so important to having a book table? So that people can learn about the healing power of Jesus and how to have a relationship with God. And what is your favorite part of serving in the local church? Keeps my life safe. We are here with Josh. And where do you live? Uh, Miss Long, Ontario. And what has been your favorite part of the services? Uh, I'd say my favorite part came yesterday when uh, we just started praying and worshiping God. And uh, I was at the back with me, my brother, and some ushers. And then um, Reverend Joel Siegel called us out mid service and then he told us to come to the front to impart a fire brought to us. So I think that was my favorite part. We are here with one of our staff members, Sarah. And why is it so important to have a book table? Because Pastor Nancy can't go home with you, but you can take her teaching some with you. Thank you, the faith that's a wrap for 2024 Marine Cooker Say. We had so much fun interviewing new kids and talking to them. Make sure if you miss any of the services, make sure to go check on YouTube for Defraying Ministries and link down below. Peace! Hello. <laughs> What's your favorite part about this service? Oh, uh, my favorite part is how Pastor Joel. Uh, <laughs> Tandy, we're all alone. He literally says it. He's like, be quiet. Okay. So, uh, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. I promise. Come on. Yeah. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, look at his notes, bro. No, I'm not. I'm just thinking. Hey, in the fifth, we have one of our congregants. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> Don't. Why are you talking so fast? It does. I feel like it. Take it to faith. That's the end for Jesus to hear me and Cooker say. We had so much. I was on a roll. Hey, kids in face. We had a great week in Canada. The services were powerful. <laughs> You're going like this. You're like. If you want to just stay here, that's fine. Just stay. <laughs> okay, get up. Get up. This is the one. Get up. been of this week? Um, I went to a Bills game with my friend Bear. I'm not sure if you've heard of him. He's a really cool guy. And yeah, his little sister Nanny really Cake. Cool. He's really handsome Yeah, too. very handsome, man, yeah. Take it then, Faith. <laughs> hey, Kids and Faith, did you know that Kids and Faith has their own merchandise? Go to the Frame Ministries online store to get your hats, totes, and shirts. Hey, Kids and Faith. Uh, we have a YouTube channel that we want you to check out, the Kids in Faith YouTube channel. And go, no. make sure. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe. Six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kids in Faith, make sure to subscribe. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey, Kids in Faith. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kids in Faith, we have our own YouTube channel. Make sure to go check it out, Kids in Faith. Make sure to six. <laughs> hey, Kids in Faith, we have a YouTube channel. We want you to check it out. Make sure to subscribe to watch more videos. <laughs>